Hello everyone. So today we are going to be learning how to sew or first of all draft the pattern for girl skirts. Go G O R E or C species skirt, short skirt. That's what we are doing in class. We are doing the short C species skirt or short girl skirt. We are doing it in the class. That's what we are be, we'll, we'll be looking at right now. Now, if you want to do girl skirt or C species skirt, what you need to do is um, to trace out your pencil skirt pattern from the basic skirt pattern we did earlier if you can watch the earlier videos you'll see it there you can trace the pencil skirt out it's not as if you can't trace out the straight skirt out but you know the essence of penciling your skirt is to give you to make the shape come out the sh your shape to come out or the cl your client's shape to come out and to fit you know for fitting purposes so that it will be fitted you know so but straight skirt will be loose you know it, but that doesn't mean that you can't use your straight skirt for six pieces as well but it will be very loose so you trace out your pencil skirt for first to, to give it that shape trace it out first and then you panel it into four panels like i have on this table you know the last video we talked we talked about panel skirts you can refer to that video to look at it how we panel panel the pattern you know the panel skirt pattern and we came about these four panels here so after paneling the next thing is to attach the goal so for girls skirts first of all pencil the skirt pattern then panel it into four panels and then you attach the goal to the panels so we have four panels here with me on the table we have panel one two three four panel one and two is the front pattern of the skirt three and four is the back pattern of the skirt so we'll be attaching the go before you attach the go there's one thing you must do the standard measurements for go points as in the point as which you will attach the go you know go is G O R E, and the what we are attaching looks like a cone you can call it, it looks like some people call it cone you know the point as which you'll be attaching the go is what we call go point the standard measurement for that point or go point is 18 inches from waist down 18 inches from waist down 18 inches from waist down so uh you can see that i've already put the gold point on all the panels but this is what this is how i arrived at it let me just show you how i arrived at the gold point on each of the panels for panel one you measure 18 inches from waist down from the waistline down from, from the waistline down and you can see 18 inches so that's the go point I, I have I ruled it across and label it go point that's for panel one for panel two I did the same thing from waist down 18 inches From waist down 18 inches, you can see 18 inches go point. I read it across and then label it go, go point. G O R E P O I N T go point. I did same for three. Measure. So do the same thing. Measure from waistline down 18 inches and you have your go point. Rule across, label it go point. And then the fourth panel. The fourth panel. From waist down from waist down 18 inches go point so after doing that you will now start attaching your goal so let's start with panel one let's start with panel one so for panel one to attach the goal points this is the go point here. For panel one, you will not attach the go at the center fold at this side. This is the center fold. This is the center front, and it's on fold. You know, you are going to place it on fold on the fabric. So you don't. You will not attach go 
at this point but you will attach god here at this half inch joining that you used to join with pan, uh, with panel two join panel one and two together you will attach god at this side so we are going to be attaching god at this side so you get to play a, a piece of paper round paper that you are no longer using get a piece of paper and then you see that you align then align the go point with it and sell tape or you can put it on that but if you don't want to waste paper <laughs> If you don't want to waste paper, you can just align it, you know, align it together. And then tape it down with some tape. So take it down with cell tape. Don't sell tape the, the line, the go point line. Don't sell tape at that time because you'll be connecting some line to that part. So just make sure the paper aligns with the with the line and then sell tape. Tape it down with cell tape. Tape it down with cell tape and then Okay, so after doing that, the next, you know, um, the width of the go point, the width, I mean, the width, I mean, how wide the go will be for short skirt, because this is short skirt pattern, will be five inches, it's five inches. So we are going to, we are going to be adding five inches to the end. To the end line it's like we are extending the hem by five inches so we measure five inches at this end so that you measure it this way you know it's this side though from the pattern itself not the it started from the pattern itself into the paper you know like this you can either measure it this way or you measure it like this and this is 5 inches this is 5 inches so it can either be this way too it can be this way too whereby the 5 inches aligns with this line this line that is coming here to the hem that's where the 5 inches measurement will start from into the paper so it's like we are extending is that we are extending the hemline by five inches to to this side so we are going to extend the hemline rule it rule on the by the five inches So that's five inches. Then the five inches connect it with the go point. You have a slant line, a slanted line. So like a triangle, shape of a triangle. So the next thing is to measure from go point to the hem. From go point to the hem. What's the measurement there? Let's use that tip.
draw point to the M is 5 inches. So that 5 inches, you will now measure it on this line from this go point to wherever the 5 inches stops. So, once you do that, you now use your fork to connect the 5 inches of this line to the hem. You make it blend with the hem. This is the shape. Shape will be like this. The shape will be like this. Let it blend with the end. Okay. So The next thing is to cut the to cut on the hem, you know the extension of the hem through the curve line. You cut it this way from here through the curve line. You know. And then you cut the line, this line here. You cut on it. Cut on it, cut on the line. So we have our first go attached to panel one. You can see the shape is like a cone. So it's attached to panel one. There will be go here. So we are done with go attached to panel one. Let's go to panel two. Panel two, the go will be at both sides. The goal will be at the half inch joining that we use to join panel two and three. It will also be at the one inch side allowance at this side, the side of the front, you know, pattern of the skirt. So we will attach go here, we will attach go here for panel two. So let's start. Align it. So once you have aligned it, you can tell it. Don't sell it on the line because you will need it when you are connected so that you can see clearly what where you are connecting to. Okay, so the next thing is to extend the length of the end, or the, uh, yes, not the length of the end, the width of the end by 5 inches. You know, the width of the goal is 5 inches for short skirts, so you are going to attach it to the, you will measure it from here, you know, from this line that is coming down. Measure it from here, five inches. Let the five inches align with the line at the hem. You know, with the line, this line. 
that is coming down to the hem here. Let they align with it. And then mark. This is the beginning. So this is 5 inches. So rule it. It's like extend the hem to that 5 inches. Extend the hem line to that 5 inches. Hmm? Measure from gob I mean, measure, I mean, um, connect these 5 inches to the gob point. Connect the five inches, five inches width of the go to the go point here. Once you've done that, measure from go point to the end. What what do we have there? Go point to the end. I have five point six. So five point six. You measure the five point six from go point. I mean, on this line that is coming from go point, measure the five point six on that line. And we have it here. So, you now use your French for use your French to connect this 5.6 to the end to blend with the hem. This is how you replace the French curve. You place it like this. Let it blend with the hem. Once it blends with the hem, you can now rule it. The hem, you know, as it just cut on the line to the curve to the curve line. on this line cut on this line That's for this side. Let's do the one at this side. Put the paper. Align the paper. Align the paper. Just set it.
said the width of the gall will be five inches. So from this line at the end line, we measure five inches. This is five inches. That's the width of the gore, or how wide the gore is. Connect the five inches to the gore point. Measure what we have here between gore point and the hem. What is it? Go point at the end. We have point five point six. So measure five that five point six. Measure it on this line, the center line. Five point six. Use your curve now. You know, at this side, we place the curve like this. This was how the curve was placed to get that shape. So, at this side, you turn it the other way around, like this. Hmm? So, connect this 5.6 to the to this side of the hem here. So, make sure it blends with the hem. Make sure it blends with the hem. Be turning the curve until it bends. Turn it until it blends with the hem. So once it blends, you can now Okay. We have our curve line here. So cut on the curve line. Let me cut off the SS paper. So cut on the curve line. Cut on this slanted line. So we have our goal at both sides of panel two. We have our goal at both sides of panel two. Attach to both sides of the net. So let's go to panel three. So this is panel three. For panel three, two, we we'll attach go at both sides. We we'll attach it to the side back where we have the one inch sewing allowance and we we'll attach it to the half inch joining that we use to join panel three and four together. We have it at this side, we have it at this side, just like our panel two. So let's get our uh, paper, our uh, brown paper. Okay, so you align it together like we've been doing. Align the goal, goal point with the 
paper in a manner and salt it. So, the width of the gore is 5 inches, so you measure from this side. You can see that this paper did not get to the hem. We have to, it must get to the hem. It must align with the hem, it must align with the gore point as well. So I think I have to remove it on, and place it. the one that will align. It must align with the hem, it must align with the, with the go point. one is even beyond the hem but you know that is okay even if it's beyond the end it's, that one is okay because by the time we are cutting it off we cut off the excess that we don't need and like the one that is not up to it so let's use this The width is five inches. The, the width of the goal is five inches from this side. So yeah, five inches. Mm -hmm. So extend the hem to that the hem line. So that's five inches. Pull it. Make sure the line aligns with the end line. Okay. So connect the five inches to the go points like you have been doing. I, I'm sure you know what to do by now. So Thank you. 
measure from go point to the end. What do we have? From go point to the end, what do we have? You have six inches. I can see six inches. So that six inches, you measure it from go point on this line. So use your cuff to connect these six inches to the to this side of the hem. Let it blend with the hem actually. Let it blend with this hem line. <clears throat> Place it in such a way that it will blend. You can be turning it until it blends with the hem. The six inches. Let it just blend with the hem. You might not get to this place, but let it blend with the hem line. Let it blend with the hem line. from the line of line okay. cut on this line cut on this line We have half inch here, half inch joining from the uh, of panel three and with panel four. So you put the half inch here. You put the half inch here, and the two inches M allowance because this is an essential of the end. So you put two inches here. Okay. So let's do for the other side. You now we are attaching God to the to both sides, we are attaching to this place too.
Okay, so the width of the gore is 5 inches. Let's make sure it's from this place. To the 5 inches, which is going to be the width. The width of the gore is 5 inches. So, use ruler and pencil to extend the M line to the 5 inches. Make sure it aligns with the M line. And then connect the five inches to the go point here. Okay, so measure from go point to the to the hem. is six inches as you can see six inches so six inches you measure it from go points on this line that we've been doing six inches mark it and then use your cone your french cup rather you know it was positioned this way when we we're doing this side so at this side, it will be positioned this way. This is the marked six inches. You have to blend it, blend it with the M, M line. Move the curve to blend with the M line. Move the curve to blend with the M line. Also the extra paper so that you can access the curb line easily. So cut from the curb line. on this line So we have our goal at both sides, both sides of panel three, both sides of panel three, we have our goal. So the sewing allowance, this is side back, we have one inch side allowance, it will also be one inch here, it will also be one inch here, and the two inches M allowance will also be here, two inches M allowance. So. That's panel three. I don't know the width is allowance so on panel one and two. Let's check. Okay, we didn't put allowance of panel two. This is panel two. Let's put the sewing sewing allowance side front. It's one inch. One one inch side allowance. It will also be here one inch. Then the two inches M allowance will be here as well because it's an extension of the end. And it's also be here. It's an extension of the two inches. 
and then half inch the joining that we use to join two and three together will also be here half inch half inch will also be here so for panel one also half inch will be here because it's like half inch so that side and then two inches m allowance will be here here all the way so we have put sewing allowances on the three panels so remaining panel four and we have a half go on the three panels remaining panel four so this is panel four because it is short skirts we will not put go at the center back. We will not put go at this center back. This is center back where the zip normally is. We will not put go there because it's short skirts. It will look somehow. <laughs> so we will rather attach go at this side. This half inch joining that you used to join four and three together. We will attach go here. But there will not be go at this side. Can put it on top for make sure they align. You can put the paper under the panel for pattern for make sure the go point aligns with the paper. So the width of the go is um, five inches that we've been doing from this side. Mark it. Extend the M line to that five inches. Let them let it blend align with the M. the five inches to the go point measure from from go point measure from go point to the end Six inches. So the six inches measure it from go point on this line. Use your curve. You know the curve will be placed this way. So connect the six inches to to blend with the hem M line. Look at the positioning. Look at the way I'm positioning the curve. Let it blend with the end line. Line. 
and cut on this line. Let it not be too curvy, your white facing it. Let it not be too curvy. So we have our go at the at the half inch sewing allowance that we used to join panel four and three together. There will not be go at the center back because it's short skirts. There will not be go here. So that half inch allowance we also put half inch here, and then the two inches same allowance we also apply here. So the half inch, half inch, half inch, two inches up to this point. So we have all our paddies attached with gold. Panel four, this is panel four. This is one. This is two. Three. This is four. This is three. This is four. This is panel four. This is panel three. Panel four. This is panel four. This is panel three. This is panel two. And this is panel one. This is panel one. So, I like to, you do this as well. Please submit to my WhatsApp. Let me see your pattern for short skirts. I mean, short girl skirts. But alongside the classwork, I also want to give you an assignment. And the assignment is this. You are going to draft a pattern for long skirts, as in, Six pieces long skirts. Six pieces long skirts or gold long skirts. You are going to draft a pattern. So, how do you draft it? Trace out your pencil skirts from the master skirt pattern. Trace it out and then have your both your front and back pattern. Panel it the way we panel this one. You know, panel it into four panels. After paneling it into four panels, in fact, before you panel it into four panels, sorry, because it's long skirts. Let me go over it again. The assignments. I want you to draft a pattern for long skirts, six pieces, six pieces long skirts. You know, the one we did in class is six pieces short skirt or ghost short skirt. I want you to um, give me an assignment for six pieces long skirt or girl long skirt. So, if you want to do it, trace out your pencil pattern. Trace it out from your basic skirt pattern. When you have traced it out, eh, place it on. When you have traced it, when you have traced it out, attach extra paper. Attach before you before you cut off uh, front and back pattern separately. Before you cut it off. You know, normally we will cut it off. We we'll cut off the back pattern first. We we'll cut it out first. We we'll cut out the front pattern separately. We we'll have back pattern separately, front pattern separately. Hmm? You know, that's what we normally do if you check the previous video. But before you do that, before you, after tracing out your pencil skirt pattern, don't cut off, don't cut the front pattern and back pattern yet don't cut them yet eh? just attach the way it is attach a, a brown paper a whole brown paper you know it's long skirt it will be very long attach it to the pencil skirt where it ended at the hemline attach it at the hemline you know attach it at the hemline where the short skirt ended attach it cello tape it together so that it will be one long brown paper do you understand what i'm trying to say so from that line, the pencil line on the hem, hem line, you will now take ruler and pencil and rule it down to 
your desired length of the long of your long skirt you read down straight to your desired length of your long skirt you read it down both sides all the all the length you know all the length the middle line the uh, center front the middle line the center back roll it down you know from that from the end line from that leg just read that straight down straight line down straight line down just really straight line down from that line from that uh, from the from where it stopped you know where you traced out where you stopped at the head line just read it down once you are really down to your own desired length for your for your skirt long skirt really down to that measurement so once you have done that that is when you can now cut the center back as in the back pattern cut it cut it out separately and then cut out the front pattern separately do you understand now so after that you can now panel it you know the way we panel it when we do panel skirt you can now panel it that means the panel line will be very long because you are doing long skirt now the panel line from the middle line of the darts you will extend it to the desired length of your long skirt you know both sides front and back they have that so you will extend the middle line of the darts of the skirts straight to the desired length of your long skirt and label it one panel one two three four and cut on it just the same way that we did short skirt the only difference is this one is longer than the short skirt and it takes more paper so once you have your panels cut out panels one two three and four then you will now establish your goal point which i said is 18 inches from waistline so measure 18 inches from the waistline on each of the goal label it as we did this one label it go point go point and then attach your goal now for long skirts listen carefully for long skirt the width for the go is seven inches that's the standard is seven inches it can be it can be below seven inches some people doesn't want their goal to be as wide as seven inches some want it maybe like three inches or there about so but they want just do seven inches that's what i want you to do the assignment i'm giving to you do seven inches the width of the goal seven inches for long skirts that's the standard or the maximum except you want it to be wider than that according to your preference seven inches width you know for the short skirt we use five inches for the long skirt it will be seven inches width of the goal and then another difference is when you are attaching the goal for long skirts the same way panel one you will not attach the goal at the center front because it will be on fold you will attach at this other side so panel two you will attach at both sides just like we did for the short skirt panel three of the long skirt you will attach at both sides we go go at both sides of panel three as well just like we did for the short skirt and then when it gets to panel four you know for panel four for short skirt we only attach at this side half inch this half inch and our side for the joining with uh, uh, panel three that's where we attach the goal we did not attach go at the same time for short skirt for long skirt you will attach go at both sides for long skirt you will attach go at both sides go will be at the center back where the zip is you know go will be at the center back of the long skirt it will also be at this side so for long skirt it will be go will be at both sides of panel four it will be at both sides of panel three it will be at both sides of panel two and it will be at one side of panel one which is the joining the half inch you know that we use to join one and two together so please do the assignment and submit to my whatsapp so the next thing is to sew the um, to cut the to cut out on fabric the the uh, six pieces short skirts that we did in class. So, from them, I'll be giving you assignments as well. Thank you.
Okay. These are the four panels for the gaskets. The four panels for the gaskets. Go short skirts. These are the four panels. Panel one, panel two, panel three, and panel four. Panel one has only one go at the side, not on, not at the center front because center front will be unfold. Panel two has go at both sides. Same with panel three, go at both sides, and panel four because it is short skirt has go at the side. It doesn't have go at the center back. Because it is short, but for long skirts, you know the assignments I'm giving you for long, the from for long skirts, panel four we have go at both sides, just like panels two and three. Panel four we have go at both sides for long go skirts, which is the six pieces skirt that we normally do for actual B. So for six pieces long skirts, your panel four will be. At both sides, we we'll at the center back. We we'll also be at the other side, just like panels two and three. So it's only panel one that will be at one side. It will not be at the center front because that will be on food. So that is it.